What up? It's your boy, Nick Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And I hope I sound a little better to you guys because I brought an external mic. And I'm hoping it's picking me up a lot more cleaner and crisp so you guys can hear me a little better. And I can scream and it doesn't really kind of pop. And you guys can um, hear me a lot better, I'm hoping. So comment down below. Let me know if the microphone is actually helping a lot so you guys can hear me more. But this is Beastars Chapter 77, The Naivety of a Honey Trap. I'm hoping I said that right. But anyway, um, yeah, I remember you guys telling me the next couple uh, chapters are kind of one-offs, maybe, I don't know. So we'll read maybe two or three chapters today, and then we'll kind of go from there until we get to the next arc, and we'll kind of do like a bigger uh, read-through. Okay, so let's get right into it, man. He is filled with anger at the water bottle that proved his culpability in Tim's murder. Then we see Pina, I hope you don't get... Too bad asleep. Okay, so uh, Riz is remembering what Pina told him. Okay, and what's this in his hand? Wait, are those pills? Uh, yeah, it's like a half. Okay, so 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 dude's taking steroids, right? Or maybe like something. I don't know. Okay, so we got uh, Pina, not Pina. Uh, Riz in here popping these pills. Pina kind of needs to mind his own business. Uh, he doesn't know how hard it really is for me to get a good night's sleep. To get a good sleep at night. Okay, so these are sleeping pills. Oh, okay. Hey, Riz, are you taking your pills? Yeah, I always do before I go to sleep. I never needed to use those pills last year, you know. Never thought I would reach two meters this year. Haha, <laughs> you've reached it, huh? Well, I'm already used to it. Riz, do those pills give you side effects? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Riz, do those pills give you side effects? Yeah, a lot actually. It's hard to wake up and my voice isn't very strong in the morning. Well, these side effects are supposed to go away when I turn 20. So for now, I'll just have to deal with it. Okay. Medicine Herbal Strength Restrainer for Adolescent Carnivores. Okay. So is this strength restrainer that's supposed to restrain his strength from going berserk or whatever because he's a, a brown bear, is it really what's making him attack these students or is he attacking students of his own volition i don't know yeah we have to deal with the burden of being big bears not many animals know this but it's not too bad Car carnivorous bears who are over two meters high are required by the government to take pills that decrease muscle mass wow okay good night night bears are different initiated from are different oh I, my bad. Bears are dif differentiated from other carnivores because of how threatening their overwhelming strength is to their surroundings. Okay, so he's, well, he get he's he's grabbing his he's he's ripping his pillow. I don't I don't I can't tell. Oh, I thought this pillow was supposed to be sturdy. Better to keep my accidents trivial rather than tragic. I don't feel any shame from these from taking these pills every night. What actually bothers me though is you ain't looking good, Riz. Headache, lethargy, uh, fatigue. Are these are these morning side effects? Okay, so these pills have a way bigger downfall than what they're than um the problem they're supposed to be curing, which is to, to restrain their strength. So he's drinking sunflower honey. Okay. Uh, oh no, he's just, okay, he's just eating a whole bunch of honey. Honey is the only thing that can relieve my headaches. Everyone around me thinks I'm just some friendly, honey-loving bear. I always feel safe when I'm around you. No one knows the real me. No one except him. Eight months earlier in the spring. So we're gonna gotta get like a flashback of him and Tim. Riz, you're kind of scary. Oh man, Tim. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have done that. So we see Riz and he's looking at Tim in the locker room. What? What did you say? Why did you say? Wait. Okay, my bad. What? Did you say that, Tim? Yeah, I mean, you're just so big. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. This male alpaca's name is Tim. He's my classmate, and like me, he's a member of the drama club. Well, I'm sorry for weirding you out. No one's ever called me scary before. Huh? Um, sorry, did I offend you? I've been curious about the way that you look at our club clubmates whenever they're having fun. What do you think about always having to look down? Do you feel helpless? His words were sweeter than honey. Tim, for some reason my body feels light right now. 
Oh, you've you got any worries? I'll lend you an ear. If you got any worries, I'll lend you an ear. But first, let's go to the rest area and get some juice. Huh? Sure, but didn't you just call me scary? Yeah, but I didn't mean it as an insult. Tim always spoke his mind. Hmm, I didn't know Bears took these pills. You must have it rough. I haven't told anyone about my pills except for my family. I didn't think that they would come when I'd tell a herbivore about it. Why? I think it'd be better if you told the club members about it. No way. If everyone finds out that I'm restraining my strength, they'll distance themselves from me. What Will they, though? They all know how much of a nice guy you are, so I don't think there will be any problems. Nice guy? I wouldn't call myself a nice guy. Heck, I don't even know what it means to be nice. Hey, hold on. When you're talking to me, you said your body was feeling light, right? Then why don't we talk more often like when we're done with the club? Your side effects might go away, you know. Tim turned out to be right. After a few days of trivial conversation with Tim, I noticed that I've been having less... I've been eating less honey. This is all thanks to him. I don't even feel a little bit melancholy when I take that pill. Do I really need this? Oh, no, 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 no. He stopped taking the pill. I guarantee you that's what he did. I want to get closer to Tim. I want him to see the real me. Oh, hey, Tim, can I see you tonight? He stopped taking the pills. So that's what he done. He stopped taking the pills and... That's when things went awry. Oh, I could feel it. So we have him and Tim kind of in the hallway kind of talking a little bit. You seem kind of off, Riz. Like your body's bigger than usual. You could tell. I stopped taking my pills for the first time since I reached two meters. What? Why? You shouldn't be doing that. But I don't need it anymore. Why are you backing away from me? Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. So he grabbed his arm, and his claws just gushed straight into Tim's arm. Ah! Did I do too much? <laughs> uh, Tim, wait. So Tim ran away bleeding. Tim, I wanted to show you the real me. We should be capable of understanding each other. I don't believe it. You're carnivore, you carnivores are nothing but monsters. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He didn't mean that, man. He was just hurt and upset because of what you just done to his arm. So cut him a little slack, but I don't see that happening. Well, Tim said that his eyes were the most beautiful and compassionate eyes I've ever seen. That's why you don't have to hide anything from me. We're best friends. Wow. Dude, you killed your best friend? What? Well, of course. Your monster strength, your monster strength is one of the many great things about you. I'll accept every part of you, Riz. You don't have to suffer anymore. Tim. And then all of a sudden, he just screamed Tim. And next thing you know, we shoot to another panel. And he's got blood all over his face. His fur look is looking ragged. His fangs are all out. Tim. Tim. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Look at all that blood. Under the piece of meat was a pool of blood. On me were marks made from desperate resistance. D did he have a blackout or something? Like, did his mind just snap from him not taking the pills and him getting in his body kind of feeling some type of way? I can't let the time I spent with Tim become a mere illusion. So it looks like he just grabbed his body and finished eating it. His texture, his color, his warmth, his fa his flavor. They all make up my sweet adolescence. I will always treasure them until the day I die. What the, what the, what? Man, you sat there and you just killed your best friend. Then you ate the rest of his body. Come on, man. And yeah, you can blame some of that on the pills because of the side effects and everything. And then the way that you just abruptly stopped taking the pills. And, but dude, seriously, you just ate your best friend. Okay, man. Chapter 78, A Garden of Organic Fruit. Are these two on good terms or bad? Okay, so we have Legacy and Haru at the beginning of the panel just sitting there nice. All of a sudden, the school called for a three-day holiday. In extreme development, da, da, da. there's too much damn homework. <laughs> there's too much damn homework. So much for a holiday. We haven't even left the dorm. 
I don't think they meant this holiday to be a rest, a time of rest. We're going back to school tomorrow. I wonder if the teachers will tell us the meaning of this whole thing. Not, not, not. I'll get it. K-9s love visitors. This is from the school addressed to every room in the dorm. Um, thanks. So you reached the paper. Hey guys, something weird just happened. What is it? What is it? Some kind of incident. Let me see. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So now we're seeing everything from uh, where we 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 jump back, and we're kind of getting everybody's perspective on what happened during the incident and when they all found out about the incident. Okay. To all schools, to all the students in the school, you must be you must be all surprised with the sudden news. Le Legacy. Is this the next morning? This has been decided after many meetings with the school staff and the board of trustees. Starting next year, Cherry Town School will be segregated into different classes and campuses. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. So we're okay. We jump back to the present, and this has to be the result of all of the parents and the media and everything. They decided to separate. The, the um the kids wow so then we have you know bill 17 years old bingo tiger type b da, da, da. seriously that morning they're going to be dividing us by floor starting next year carnivores will have floors one and two and herbivores will have four hat will have floors three four and five is this going to be the last year we'll be sitting together which means you don't get to copy my homework anymore sorry <laughs> <laughs> Look at Bill. Oh man, what? Come on, man. This is too sudden. How how did it come to this? Not not a lot we could do about it. Maybe is is it because of um, Kibi or uh, Kiba and um when um his arm got ripped off and everything? Can't you at least pretend to be upset about this? And why don't you go to the hospital to get that tongue fixed? Also, all interspecial clubs will be suspended starting next month wow so no more drama club no this is where the real problem is the drama club is going to be suspended next month well there's a club today there's there's club today i wonder what what the guys will think about this that was a shocker you know well there aren't many interspecial schools these days i think we should have been seg segregated sooner that okay that's how herbivores feel my mom sent a complaint to the school. She's worried about the recent incidents. All herbivore parents are like that. They don't like their kids being in a school filled with meat-hungry carnivores. Well, I can't say they're wrong. Wow. Hey, hold on. I'm supposed to be the most optimistic guy in the drama club. I can't let myself get down. Bill. Oh. Hey, Els. You surprised me. Want to walk to club with me? Bill, did you hear the announcement? The club, it's... Yeah, I know. The club will be suspended at the end of the month. It surprised me because it was so sudden. But there's nothing we can do about it. Really? Yeah, because the school is going to be segregated whether we like it or not. Be glad, Els. You'll be safer this way. Wow. This is good, right? Coward! You have no right to say any of that. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I knew I knew, I knew, knew that they, they, they were feeling some type of weight about each other. There was always um, these little, uh, like, little side hints and everything that we kind of see when they have these kind of cross looks at each other. And we know Tim liked her, but, like, you know, Tim's dead. So, you know, I don't want you talking about my safety. Don't you sneak herbivore meat from my, from a place called the Back Alley Market. What? What? How does she know that? How does she know that? What? what how did you know? It's a well-known rumor in the club. Not just you eating meat. Also that you said that if I was a female tiger, you would so hit that. <laughs> if I was a female tiger, you'd so hit that. Okay, okay. I see you, Bill. I know all of your misdeeds. Look at her face. But even so, I still enjoy being with you. Because I know your, your good size just as much as your bad size. But that's only because of our club. Stop it. Calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when he was saving dude. Um, Els, I want you to read this manga. Leave the heavy lifting to me. The power's out. The carnivores need to huddle around the herbivores. Yeah, so build, build on a lot of stuff that was like very, very good and very heroic and stuff. And 
just because he eats meat, you know, like he goes and gets some fingers and stuff from the back alley market doesn't mean, you know, he's running around killing people. He's not Reyes, okay? So why are you so quick to give up on the club? Okay, that's enough, Els. You're not, you're not used to being mad. I apologize for more reasons than one. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Let's talk about, let's talk to the guys about it. I want the club to continue just as much as you do. Let's go to the training hall. That was a pretty nice talk. Yeah, that was real inspiring. <laughs> Look at everybody. <laughs> Guys, did you hear about the announcement? So we have everybody in there just sitting around. Uh, hey, guys, you're late. Now we've got everybody on board. Is that... Is, is that... Put two marks for we should continue the club. Okay, we got one person that says... Um, we. No, maybe that's two people. They say we should do what the teachers say, but then majority decision on the board and everything. We got way more people that say continue the club. So continue the club. All right, now we've got everyone. Yeah, that's great. Now we need to focus on what to do next. All of the club's thoughts were the same. Did you have a fight with Els? Hell no, you idiot. <laughs> the baseball club. Yeah, this isn't right. Yeah, it's so unreasonable. The judo club. Our fighting spirit will not be silenced. Yeah, yeah. Even the manga club. Hey, are you going to suspend the... Are they going to suspend every club in the school? We're not going to stop. <laughs> the clubs of our school are now showing a sense of solidarity like never before. This is exactly the time for us to act, Chief. PR team. Chief, this is our problem. Just this... Uh, wait, okay. Chief, this is our problem, just, as, just the same as the, all the other clubs. Let's make an article to give a voice to all of the students. Hmm. You're, quit your preaching, Nimrods. Don't you understand how much influence the school paper has? We will make enemies out of our teachers. Our paper speaks for the school, which is why we must respect their decision. But we want to continue making the school paper. Yeah, and we just got the idea for our next article. Exactly. We've gone through so much while enduring your nagging and griping. We got through every challenge we faced because of your cuteness. This is what coexistence is, coexistence is all about. Stay cute for the rest of your life, Chief. Oh, oh, so he's pouting. He's cute. Oh, you looking down on me. <laughs> okay, so then we see the school's paper. New school wave. News of club suspension brews as a storm of opposition. There will be ties between carnivore and herbivore. The ties between carnivore and herbivore will be put to the test. And then it goes into a whole article. I'm not going to read the whole article. The mood in Cherryton School is changing. Okay, so we'll do 79 as well. And then we'll call it a day. 79. A lingering... No. A lingerie to lingerie talk. Hmm. Okay. Huh. You want me to be... Adler the Reaper. Yep, I believe we should make our New Year's performance very different from all the others. But I'm a first year in the female. This is so sudden. That's the point, you know. Everyone always saw Adler as a masculine role. But with a female as Adler, we will show off our resolve and rebellious spirit. Okay, I see y'all. Interspecial clubs remain active. Yeah! A lot of the other clubs are desperate to do better than they had ever done before so when it's time for the new year's performance I'll, it'll be the same for us to step no it'll be time for us to step up our game i don't know why i'm mixing up my words oh i see i will do my best i know you would i knew you would say that you're a b-star candidate and you're popular to boot you're perfect for the role <laughs> the mood in the school is changing a lot it's like the carnivores and herbivores are actually getting closer only the grown-ups want the answer special clubs to be suspended. We have to stop them. None of the clubs will be suspended because everyone thinks that we should stay unsegregated. Isn't that right, Juno? Of course. But what about those ongoing interspecial murders? Everyone's desperate to stop this school from getting segregated. Girls locker room, okay. But why? What's wrong with segregation? There's no way I could have said that in front of everyone. So Juno won't... She, she kind of wants the segregation just a little bit maybe because she's thinking about how she felt about segregation and he was like well but there's no way she could have said that in front of everybody 
without segregation, we'll be exposed to the truth that neither of us want to know. Why hasn't anyone realized this? There's only one thing that we needed, and that's distance. Juno, good job getting that lead role. That's amazing for your first year. You have, you have our full support. Thank you. I am happy about the role, though. It's not like we can just stay sociable to them. The, there's no problem with smiling at either smiling at them as either as long as we keep our distance. Why can't we carnivores just maintain a stoic relationship with the herbivores? I mean, it's so simple. So she's looking, she sees legacy. And Haru. Oh, Juno, just when I was start, I was starting to forgive you a little bit, Juno, and I was on your side a little bit more. And it don't don't tell me you're gonna do something stupid again. So she sees Legacy and Haru, and they're waving bye to each other, and she's looking, and she hides behind a corner. Why? It's her. That bunny, the herbivore who is the bane of my existence. Is, is she, though? She's not the bane of your existence. I mean, let's be real. You're no competition when it comes to Legacy. I mean, let's, I mean, no competition when it comes to Haru. Legacy doesn't even see you. I mean, he would probably stare a hole through your body just to see Haru. Are they going out now? Is Legacy Senpai and that bunny having a passionate shoujo manga like romance? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Legacy Senpai prefers girls who look like her. Her head is tiny. Her legs are as, are as long as my upper arms. Oh, she got tripped. <laughs> Look at the way she look at the way she fell down the hallway. This dude did not trip her. He like he like bumped her and knocked her down. Oh, she did get tripped. Okay, so she seems used to it. But she was so pissed the way she was like, hey, 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 whack where you're going. <laughs> oh man, oh oh Hyrule, you're awesome. So we see Juno looking on. Um She's usually by herself despite how small and fr and fragile she is. Does she have no friends? Where is she going? Why isn't she using the stairs for small animals? Is she going to the rooftop? Gardening club. The gardening club? I didn't even know they had one. It doesn't look like much. She's the only member of the gardening club. Did Legacy Senpai get attracted to her because of her bravery? Oh, it's you. I thought you were Legacy Coon. Your footsteps sounded like his. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't remember your name. But I know who you are. You're close to Legacy Coon, right? Not as much as you are. I'm Juno. Juno Chan, right? I'm Haru. I think I've already told you my name before. What are you here for? Well, I don't know. I'm leaving. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey! Change so she's changed clothes. An earthworm. Don't kill it. It'll help fertilize the soil. Just let it mind its own business. You can kill slugs though, since they're parasites. Thanks for helping me. I didn't think you'd actually say yes. Please, you know that most canines can't refuse help. I'm going to get myself a small shovel. What am I doing here? I might as well ask her some questions about Legacy Senpai, although I already know the answer to most of them. Wait, where is it? Oh, found it. Mm. Uh, uh. So Haru's trying to reach a toolbox. It looked like it's about to fall on her. Juno comes in. She sees it. Use a ladder! <laughs> it's right in front of you. You could have... Ask for me. Ask me for help. If this box would, if this box fell down on you, you would have died, huh? But I didn't want to want to keep you waiting. Besides, there's nothing to worry about. I'm always putting my life in danger. Please don't endanger your life when you don't need to. Okay? Fright! Fright! Put that through her skull. Is it? Is it? Because you're so small and reckless that Legacy Senpai became attracted to you. So she's looking up at her, and. Juno kind of turns her head. She's like, ah! <laughs> She's like, that is not why. So she sneezed. Juno's son, are you attracted to me? What? I didn't, I didn't, wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Why don't we, why don't we have a talk about him? I'm happy enough that I get to talk to a girl for once. I'll give you half of my umpun. Or what, do you not want any? I'm feeling so many things right now. I wanted to stay ignorant to a herbivore's charm. You've got some bread on your mouth. I know, now I know why I really wanted this school to be segregated. Wrong cheek. 
you're so cute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, wait, what? It's because carnivores and are inferior to herbivores. What? I'm not suited to be a beast star at all. I can't place myself in even footing with herbivores. I can't be like Lewis Senpai. Hey, do you know where Lewis Senpai is right now? Huh? Lewis? You know where he is? Try calling him on your phone. He was worried about you when I talked to him. Now, if you excuse me, best best to leave now so that my life doesn't go crazy like those two. So she like she doesn't want to get um, trapped up in the whole world that is Haru, and so Juno. The reason she wanted everything to be segregated was because she felt like carnivores are inferior to herbivores. Because let's be real, um, you know they they can't really hurt anyone. But um, because in Haru's instance, uh, Lewis in Legacy, and even Juno want to help her because I mean Juno like she feels some type of way about Haru having these feelings and attachments to Legacy but when that toolbox was about to fall on her she went to help her and save her and that's when she realized that you know we're inferior to carnivores because we all get swindled by their charm I mean we're inferior to herbivores because they all got swindled by their charm and the thing is is because the funny thing is is because um I kind of understand where she's coming from because now we you have the whole little situation with uh, Els and Bill as well. Like it's it's not really acting on a relationship type thing, but um, you can see that there's there's a little tension there, and there's also a possibility that like, well, will they? Won't they? Even though they're different species, will they? Won't they? And so I can see where Juno's aspirations come from about it being segregated, where carnivores won't have to feel. Or suppress their um, their strength or anything like that because herbivores are around. That way they can just be themselves and they don't have to try to ser save any herbivores or anything like that. So I understand where she's coming from. And these three chapters, you know, they weren't connected. They were they were one offs, but um, they were very good. We got to see the whole segregation thing come into um, come into play. Well, this one and um, seven eight kind of tied in together. But uh, we saw that come into play because, like like I said, the parents are concerned. The media's gotten a hold of the story. And nobody's been um, uh, been arrested or anything for Tim's murder. And it's just, and they're still going to school like nothing happened. So any reasonable parent would be concerned about their kids going to this school. So I understand them trying to have it set up to be segregated. It, but now, once since they brought that up, the kids themselves are the only ones that don't want it. Like, the adults want it and the kids don't want it. And even Juno wanted it. But, like, let's be real. Now she kind of feels, like, iffy about it. But she still feels that way because, you know, she doesn't want to get wrapped up in the world that is herbivores, like Legacy and Lewis. So I understand it. And then, like, there's, so, there's such great moments, man. And now we also know what happened to Tim and what led up to happening to Tim and how it got to that point. And that Riz and Tim were actually friends, which is crazy, man. So this dude, every time you, every time I read a chapter where I read the chapters of Beastars, it's like, man, it's like, it's like a layer. It's like you get here and it's like, wow, this is good. So you get to the next layer. Wow, this is good. It just keeps getting better and better and better every time I read some more chapters. So I'm loving this manga wholeheartedly man this is your boy Dick incredible don't forget to smash that like button you can't smash it anymore comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life and manga matters as well because these stars made it so man peace out are we gonna play now ready for the show i'm about to take down you already know get the fuck out of my face now yeah you gotta